now see explanation of conservation of mechanical energy so we will explain now conservation of energy with the help of an example suppose this is a ground label a ball is at height h of mass m this height is suppose h and this position is referred as a here now ball is allowed to drop from here at any time ball reaches to the position b suppose so this distance is here x at this remaining height is h minus x so now here we will study total energy at a b and c then the when the ball reaches to the ground let us take first at a at a total energy that means total mechanical energy i am talking about total mechanical energy e1 is equal to potential energy is mgh plus kinetic energy zero because at height h body is at rest so the e1 is equal to only mgh this is the first equation so total energy at a is mgh now total energy at b at b we can write e2 is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy so kinetic energy is equal to half mv b square that means velocity at b plus mg h minus x now use how will we will get velocity at b we can uh, whatever the change in the potential energy is here that is the gain in uh, loss in potential energy is equal to gain in kinetic energy so we can also apply this formula is here v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h so v b square is equal to 0 plus 2 g into x so this is the velocity at b v b square we have got so we can get here now e2 is equal to half m into 2 gx plus mgh minus mgx so this two two cancel and this this cancel that we will be getting mgh so total energy at b is also mgh now we can get here the total energy at c so when we take the point at c so total energy e3 is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy at c you know kinetic energy is equal to half mvc square plus potential energy zero because height has reduced to zero body has reached to the ground so we can get again apply the same formula v square is equal to u square plus 2 gh so v square is equal to 0 plus 2 gh so value of vc square we have got so e3 is equal to we can get half m into 2 gh to to cancel that is equal to mgh so we have got e1 e2 and e3 in all the three cases you have seen it energy remains same so that is e1 is equal to e2 is equal to e3 so when the body is at a it has only potential energy kinetic energy zero as body comes to the b its kinetic energy it kinetic energy is gained whereas some part of potential energy changes into kinetic energy when the body reaches to c potential energy reduces to zero that means all potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy now see we can also show all these variation in kinetic and potential energy with the help of the graph so if you take here the graph is like this we can take here the potential energy as well as kinetic energy and here height is h that here we have taken sorry height is capital h so this is the zero point this is the point a i am taking uh, referring at the a point that was at the top level potential energy was maximum it is something like that and kinetic energy was zero that is increasing to this and this is here the kinetic energy this is the potential energy and this is representing here total energy so this is the variation of kinetic energy and potential energy with the height